Good morning. While I was abroad, I made some videos kind of to show my mom and everyone back home what I was doing during the monthly recap. And I had a lot of fun doing it, so I figured I would do them every once in a while if I was doing something maybe a little different in my day or whatever. And today, it's not going to be a super exciting day, but I figured to get back into it, this is what I would start with. Today, I'm cleaning my room, but like cleaning it out. I am trying to conquer my closet because... It's a mess. This is a shoe rack that used to be on the back of my door. As you can see, it's really left its mark, but it fell. And it's not the first time it's fallen, but it refuses to go back up. I tried new command hooks. I just, it's not going back up. So I need to figure out what to do with everything that I stored in it. And then just like getting rid of clothes in general. I have so many clothes that I don't wear, but like refuse to get rid of. So I'm going to try to be really strict with myself and really just get rid of stuff I don't wear. everything out of the bottom part of my closet and I did so this is my empty closet and it looks great it's empty I need to wipe it down and then this is everything I own that was in there which is crazy so I have these pillows a bunch of blankets a hamper these are all my like clothes and coats shoes which I didn't even realize I had that many that's a pile of dirty clothes don't worry about that <sighs> Like, my cords from high school graduation. All of this stuff that's over here. And now, now I need to figure out what's going back in and what is going out and away and never returning again. So, here we go. <laughs> down complete that's all I'm not like doing a deep clean but that's all I needed to do so that's done now I need to put things back in the closet so how's that gonna work <laughs> how's that gonna work I have no idea I think I'm gonna start with this hamper this high school musical hamper that my friend gave me for my birthday like forever ago and it's always been home to blankets and pillows but Recently, it has started to overflow because I feel like the older you get, the more appropriate it is for people to just like give you a blanket for Christmas. They're just like, oh, it's warm and cozy. Here you go. And like, I love a good blanket, but um, a human being only needs so many. So let's see, like my issue too is that I am basically a hoarder. <laughs> I hate getting rid of things that like people gave me as gifts or whatever so we'll see what happens also i have a bunch of these i don't know if you remember when these were cool they were a couple years ago and by a couple i mean like 10 um they're like the like the beanie bag thing like this thing is gross but this thing is great 
for sunburns. I I pull this out every once in a while if I have a really bad sunburn on my shoulders and I can't sleep on like my standard pillow because these stay cool and they're just great and you just, you know, it's just wonderful. So I don't think I can throw these away. However, do I need all three? Probably not. This one's a heart. They're stained. Like, I don't know. This one's a beach ball. This one's been sewed. My mom had to do some reconstructive surgery. And then these are all my blankets. This one, birthday, birthday, Christmas, Christmas. My mom made me this. I used to have to sleep. I used to have to sleep with like a little pillow. So I have this one, this one. And the original one was one that matched this blanket, which my mom made forever ago. Like, forever ago. And the pillow literally looked like that. And it was my absolute favorite. But it, like, fell apart, so my mom had to make a replacement one. This one's not as good as that one was. It's very lumpy. I don't know. The fluff in it is just not good. So, we'll see. This one, I think, was my sister's blanket that ended up in my room. I don't need that. Um, but yeah, it's like, how do you get rid of a blanket your mom made you? The pillow, on the other hand, it's not really doing it for me anymore. What I'm such a sucker for when I'm also cleaning out my room and doing stuff like this is that I think back to like why I bought something and like why it was so important to have it back then. And I'm like, I can't get rid of it. Like these clips, for example, do you see them? They're just clips. I had my hair really short for a period of time because I did locks for love, locks of love, and um, my hair was really short and I couldn't pull it back in a ponytail but I needed it out of my face. So I bought these clips and I would wear these clips every single day. Just gonna focus on them. Yeah. So I would wear these every single day, like one or two colors a day. I would mix and match them. I'm like... Then there was a time I went through a bow period where I thought like bows were going to be my thing. Never happened. Did I ever wear this? I honestly could not tell you, but I bought it and it's cute and part of me really wants to keep it. Another part of me is like, Julian, you've had this sitting in your closet for years, never worn. So what makes you think it will be worn now? I don't know, but there's something about this bow that I just don't want to give it up. <laughs> so we'll see. What happens? These clips can definitely go, though. I mean, I haven't worn them in forever. They're from Claire's. I think they're probably like a dollar. So if I ever need clips again, I can buy new clips. You know, that's... See, look at this bow. This is a headband bow. This one I did wear a couple times. That's just a regular headband. Oh, they're stuck together. So that's, like, my other issue when I try to do these deep clean -outs. I'm trying to be really strict with myself. And I kind of, like, see something. And I'm like, like, with the blankets. I'm getting rid of a blanket. I'm getting rid of one and because it's kind of frayed and like the edges are frayed it's supposed to have like green stitching like I don't know what you were just looking at so I'm sorry if it was nothing but so like the edges are supposed to have this green like trim on it and some of them just don't it's frayed and whatever I don't need eight blankets I have four over there now I kept the orange one decided to get rid of these look how dirty these are oh my goodness oh another reconstructive surgery area so I try to say to myself, like, okay, this can sit in your closet for another eight years, or it can be in, like, an animal shelter or in Goodwill, and someone will actually buy it and use it and love it. What's a better use for that object? And that's kind of helped me with a blanket, but now I'm getting into hair clips, and apparently I need a new strategy. So I'll let you know what happens. Oh, this is so hard. And like, I'm not gonna miss it. I'm not gonna miss it. I haven't touched this thing forever, but there's just something about like knowing it won't be there. I don't know. There's gotta be something like delusional going on in here, but I just don't know what it is. There's a hair. All right, back to work. Okay, still, still going strong. I feel like I haven't made much progress because I just spent so long doing this. These are all the earrings that I don't want. And so I've, like, put them... I put them on a piece of cardstock just so that, like, I can show whoever, like, my mom. Be like, do you want any of these before I put them in Goodwill or whatever? Um, I also found... Not a pot touch. Well, 
not my iPod Touch, but the case that my iPod Touch went in. This was the first iPod with the front facing camera. And I bought it myself, and the guy was super impressed that I was paying for it all by myself. I also found my iPod Nano. Um, so that's going strong, and some accessories for it. Uh, I've cleaned out all of these, and this thing. Uh, these are all my iPod accessories, which I will not be throwing away. Uh, I have a, like, miscellaneous tech drawer here in my cubbies, and it's all going in there. There it goes. There it goes. Yes, that drawer does need some organizing of its own. Maybe that will get done today. Maybe not. It's almost 2 o'clock. <sighs> um, also, I found... So, when me and my sister were younger, we had these charm bracelets. I don't know anyone else who had one of these, so I don't know how popular they were. But, if you maybe had one, you bought them at, like, Kohl's. You could get little charms. And so I've got, like, more pieces. They're a pain in the butt. Here, let me show you. Hold on. Oh, I might be backlit like you wouldn't believe, but let's hope not. It's like a three-person job. It's ridiculous. Um, which is probably why they weren't very popular. Because no one could use them. Uh, okay. I got it. Okay, got that one. And now, I don't know. I feel like I should put it on this. Look how little my wrist was. Actually, I bet that can still fit me. Oh, also, they pinch like crazy. Okay, hold on. Ah, yep, got myself. That's my, that's my little necklace, my, my little bracelet there. Um, yeah, they pinch. They <laughs> They just all around weren't great. Uh, that's the thing, like, I get started, and then I get super distracted, and then all of a sudden I've spent an hour putting earrings on a piece of cardstock paper, and now I'm going to spend 45 minutes trying to get this. No, I don't think I'll take that one. Plus this one is apparently stuck open, so that might help in my favor. There had to be a better way to do this. Small update here, we got... The closet, well the shoes are in, you know, I haven't touched the top of the closet yet. We'll see if I get to today. Um, so these are the shoes that I'm keeping and this basket of shoes that I'm getting rid of. And now it's time to conquer the actual clothes portion, which is really all I wanted to do. And then I decided, oh, well, there's so much stuff in here. I bit off more than I even wanted to chew. So, here we go. Now to the actual main course here. today. These are all the clothes I'm getting rid of. I kind of wish it was more, but you know, whatever. I'm uh, still not good at getting rid of clothes. Clearly, my closet still has a bunch in it and the coats are down there. I'm not fully done. I haven't done the top. I've decided that I really want to section out like winter clothes, summer clothes, because, A, it'll save more room in my closet if those clothes aren't in it during the times that I don't wear them. And also, I'm really intrigued by the idea of capstone wardrobes. But clearly, I'm not very good at them because you're only supposed to have 30 pieces total. Every time I go in my closet and I'm, like, going through each shirt, I just get, like, the first one that seems fine. But because of how, like, my, my mom still does my laundry and, like, she gives it back really fast. So 
I end up wearing the same thing over and over because it's right in front and it's just the easiest thing to grab. And I'm really intrigued by those capstone wardrobes. So I feel like if I take out the winter clothes in the summertime and they're not in there at all, I'll be able to like flip through and see more of my spring clothes. And then if I get to the end of the season and as I swap over the things that I didn't wear at all that season, I'll just get rid of. Because right now it's like hard for me because I'm like, oh, I forgot I had this. I really like this shirt. But if I know I have it and I still don't wear it, then I have to get rid of it and I have to get stricter with myself and I'm just not right now. So that is my goal for the next year. So I need to clean up my room, get all this stuff into the Goodwill bins downstairs and just be done for the day. I think that's the best thing I can do for myself. I guess I'm gonna end this here. If you enjoyed it, you know, do all that fun YouTube stuff that I'm not really used to yet. So I'm gonna clean up my room, hang out with my dog and watch a series of unfortunate events. I hope you have a wonderful night.